I'm at an all time. What's poppin' YouTube? My name is Case. Today I'm bringing you guys a brand new video on the channel. Today, what I'm going to be talking about with you all is dark matter, old versus new dark matter. Cool difference between the two. The old one looked ugly and stuff, but we're going to get into it. But first, let's give the shout out of the day. The Notification Squad shout out goes to Sean. Thank you for being a part of the Notification Squad. Much appreciated, my man. And I do want to also mention, I have a second channel, so the link will be below. It's for vlogs, IRL content. If you're into that stuff, make sure to go check it out. And if you enjoy the rest of the video, drop a like and subscribe below. Let's get to 50 likes on today's video. But for their ado, let's get into the video. All right, so we all know dark matter. Basically, to get dark matter, you have to get diamond camo on every single weapon in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Except DLC, you can also complete those and get Dark Matter on each DLC uh, weapon that you have. But it's not mandatory. People like it though because it looks cool. But Dark Matter not always looked as marvelous as it does today. On the screen you'll see right now, that's how Dark Matter looked before. It was pretty gunky. The purple didn't used to shine like as much as it does today. We're going to put a compare and contrast on the screen right now as well. Dark Matter looked pretty gunky. When Dark Matter came out, it was a really hard camo to get as it is today. It's, you have to unlock diamond for every gun. Everyone has it now, though, uh, except me. But um, it was really hard to achieve. And people saw how ugly the camo was and how much you actually put in the work for it. It was like, why do we have to do all this work to achieve this ugly looking, dark looking, really ugly camo in the game? And it was kind of thing like, why do we have to try to get diamond for each single category, every single gun, if that's what we're going to get out of it? Treyarch then realized, hey, this camo doesn't look so nice. Let's fix it up so people can actually grind towards this camo and, you know, they'll grind towards a good-looking camo. And today, it is one of the best-looking camos in the game. We have a ton of camos, a ton of DLC camos. Um, it's not the rarest, though. We've heard the rarest is that takeout camo. Um, that you can only get at certain, like, uh, fast food restaurants, or that one fast food restaurant, I'm not exactly sure. But it's not the rarest, it definitely, a lot of people have it nowadays, and it's really nice, though. And I think that started the era of, like, those pack-a-punch-looking camos, the zombies-looking camos, um, as you see, the DLC Chronicles camos. It kind of started that era. A lot of people were hung up on the, like, part, like, hey, what if this can change color? At one point, there was a whole... YouTube trend of blue dark matter, red dark matter, yellow dark matter, purple dark matter. It's just Chronicles camo now, uh, but it looks really nice in different colors, and I really do think that they did a really great job at changing the color of dark matter and making it more vibrant and, you know, more attractive to the eye. I want to know your thoughts and opinions on dark matter. Do you have it? Are you grinding to get it? Because not everyone has the camo. But a good amount of people are actually trying to get it right this day. They're live streaming it. They're uploading about it. And I would say it's pretty nice. I would still go for it. But I'm lazy. Maybe if I did put the time and effort into it. But for now, um, no. Another thing, Dark Matter looked really bad on Black Ops 3 on the last gen. You guys know last gen was terrible. And, you know, the graphics were terrible on last gen Black Ops 3. They shouldn't have even made it, but that's, that's for another video. Um, but yeah, they were terrible in last gen and they did kind of fix them when they updated the whole camo in general It kind of looks okay now But um, I really do like the way it looks and I'm really really happy that Treyarch's like decided like yo this camo looks ugly We should fix it. Good job Treyarch much appreciated. Nonetheless, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, guys, drop a like below and let me know what is your favorite camo right now in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and how good of a job Treyarch did updating this camo on a scale of 10 rate how ugly the camo was before. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys have yourselves a great day. I'm going to Spain for holiday or vacation. Um, that's what they say in the UK. But anyways, I'm going to Spain, so expect some videos while I'm gone. I'm going to reply to comments as best as I possibly can because I am bringing my laptop so I can interact with you guys. But I hope you guys have yourselves a great day once again. Stay fresh as always, and peace out.